Hello and welcome to today's video. Now today we are going to be talking about the LA Gladiators for the Power Rankings. Uh, so act the actual good LA team versus the bad LA team. It's kind of like the good, the bad, and the ugly, other than this, the good and the bad. So the good LA team, the Gladiators. Um, so this roster currently in PayPal looks pretty solid. And peop I, I just think that it's going to be a contender for the West Conference. That's how good I think this this team is going to go because they have some great great pieces and great and some great players in this roster. But anyways, we are going to be talking about them. So let's start. Off, so so let's start off with the DPSs. So there's three DPSs: Burry, Mira, and Kevser. Um, we're only going to count count Jaru because I that was just like a bet. So we're only going to count Jaru. Jar if I remember correctly, he was a hit, a, no, I, I think it was a projectile, but I actually can't remember, let me have a look, but I think he was a projectile, yeah, he was a projectile, and I guess the one replacing him is Kevser, which we already saw a bit last season, and we, and we know how good he is, so, that's definitely an upgrade for in the DPS slot, but we already know how great he is, Mira can also be a pretty good backup, I'll be honest, he played solidly, uh, or like a bit average in um, last season, but Kevson was definitely nutty as hell, and um, I think I, I don't think he will be lagging that much now, which would be great. So I'm really, really, really excited to see how Kevson goes. For the support, they basically redid their whole supports because Paintbrush, Bigu, Shaz, they all left. Bigu and Shaz obviously retired. Paintbrush, I think, is also retired, but I can't remember. So they have a new support lineup which looks stacked. We have Shu, Moth, and Skewered. We already know who Shu and Moth is. Um, Shu and Moth definitely, like, possibly one of the best players in their respective roles. A main support and flex support. Skewered, he's a new flex support, if I remember correctly. He was probably from Oz Gaming, and I do have some, I do have some high hopes for him. I think, I think originally I was sleeping on him kind of a bit, but now that um, I think when the Winter Ball happened, I watched a little bit of it and. He did look pretty solid, I'll be honest. He looked pretty solid um, as Skewers. So, I have, yeah, high hopes for Skewers. So, it's definitely the supports are definitely an upgrade. Probably around an, an 8 or even a 9. The DPSs are, probably, are also like a solid 8. Uh, for the, the tank, Space and Muse. Um, but no, maybe it's Muzz, but I think it's actually Muse. Not Muse, but it's Muse. Obviously, they still have the. The god himself, the off tank god of space, and they replace OG and Beach and um and Cloudy with the Muse. And oh man, this main oh this player, he's going to be definitely going to be a contender for Rookie of the Year. I think I said that to who was the two? I can't remember. I said it to I think it was Valentine and Faith. Oh no, never mind, never mind. It was to Cali. It was to Cali. I said to, but Muse is definitely going to be also a contender for the Rookie of the Year. And definitely an upgrade. OG, we we saw, we thought glad like the gladiators, the gladiators was definitely going to be a turning point for him. It wasn't. Cloudy was solid, but not that solid for him to really keep the spot. But Muse, we we know how we know how good, how great of a player he is. I think he played really, I, I I think he played solidly in the Winter Ball, I'm invitation by the Valiants before they went to APAC. But I have some high hopes for the gladiators. Now, also, we have to adjust the, the DPS who's going to start there, and as and also for the other um, for the other roles. I think it's going to be Birdie and Kevser for DPS, Shu and Moth for support, and Tanks, Space and Muse, which is quite obvious. So definitely, I think this roster is definitely better than, than last season, just because of the of how stacked it is. They have the leadership of Moth, they have the powerful potential of Shu and Kevser, they have the crazy Bird Rain and Space. They have like rookie, like maybe rookie of the year contenders, some using skewered, and then they, have, they also have Miro, who's a very, well, he's a very solid DPS player and can definitely be a backup to them, to the DPS players. I think mainly to Kevsu, who is a projectile. But I have a lot of, um, a lot of faith in the Gladiators. So before we go into the power rankings, let's talk about the coaches. So the coaches, um, I think the only thing they kind of really did it was get rid of Curry Shot and Fastest, um, assistant coaches and uh, strategic coach. Then now they still have Depay, who is the head coach, and they still have Face as well. But they got Ty Dollar. Ty Dollar, uh, formerly from Guangzhou Charge, 
uh, definitely, I think definitely helped the team, uh, helped Guangzhou charge, and now that he's with the Gladiators, and he also has Shu as well, uh, formerly from the team, coming into the Gladiators, that's going to be really, really great as well. So I, this coach is, so, so this coach in line is a great, great um, coach, that are just a bunch of um, coaches. Deepa we already know how great he is. Faith actually did pretty well, in my opinion, last season, and Ty Dollar was really good at Guangzhou Charge, so... Nothing really bad to say about uh, the coaches. And for the glad uh, for the roster I already said, like for our ten, a DPS an eight, support seven or eight or even a nine, tank probably an eight or a nine. But this roster looks very, very solid. Now they are bursting the shock first, and that'll be legit on Saturday, April seventeenth, when Overwatch League starts. So in, so in two months or a month, um, coming up. But that's oh, that's gonna be a great, great roster and a very a very exciting one to really uh, look out for um, so watch out for this roster they're gonna be really really good so let's now go to the power rankings so let's have a look so you see that the gladiators are currently here in the NA region now there are obviously some great teams as well in the NA region other than the pack and uh, other than the A pack there's obviously like the, the Florida Mayhem the Shock the Justice um, but I think, and also the rain, I think the Gladiators, just for now, obviously just for now, I think they're going to be third place. That's how great or how good this team, I think they're going to be. I think this team is going to do really, 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 really well this season. And with like a solid roster, at like like leadership as well, pop-up potential, Rookie of the Year contenders as well, I just see a lot of potential in this roster to be really, 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 really good. Obviously, the same for the coaches as well. I see them as great, great uh, coaches. I definitely trust them, as basically most Gladiators fans should trust them. Um, but definitely, definitely a team to look out for in um, this season. So where does I put them in our power rankings? So we have them in the in the on the right here. Our highest one currently it is going to charge in fifth place. Do I think they are going to be better than them? Absolutely not. I do not think they're going to be better than the Guangzhou Charge. However, I do think, in my opinion, they are going to be better than Philadelphia. But only just a tiny, tiny amount. Which means I'm going to put them in 7th place. If I can actually spell... Um, and um, I probably spelled that wrong. I'll just do that just to be easy. Um, so it can actually be shown here. So I do think the Gladiators are going to be 7th place, I do rate them very very highly, they're definitely going to be in the top 10, if they don't make it to the top 10 that's going to be the biggest flop since Atlanta rain last season, which we all thought they're going to be in the top 3, apparently not, so yeah that's all for the Gladiators, let me check who's actually next um, for this, it will be the Dallas Fuel, oh damn, so the Dallas Fuel is going to be next and this, oh that's that's gonna be a very it looks stacked but I don't know I don't have that much I don't have that much high hopes for it and you'll find out why next episode of the power rankings for in the Overwatch League.